Now it's time for us to move on in the agenda to our featured keynote speakers. It's my pleasure to introduce Mark Bertolini, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer and President of Aetna, a Fortune 100 diversified healthcare benefits company with a workforce of approximately 33,000 and operations in North America, Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. Mr. Bertolini joined Aetna in 2003 as head of Aetna's specialty products. In 2007, July of that year, he was named president, responsible for all of Aetna's businesses and operations across the company's broad range of healthcare products and related services. Prior to joining Aetna, Mark held executive positions at Cigna, NYL Care Health Plans, and Select Care Incorporated, where he served as President and Chief Executive Officer. Recognized as a forward-thinking and solutions-oriented leader, Mark is actively engaged in the national dialogue on health care reform, meeting regularly with state and federal policymakers to advocate for measures that increase access, lower costs, and improve the quality of health care. He is a strong advocate of market-based solutions and the expansion and use of health information technology. If you've not had the pleasure of hearing Mark previously, prepare yourself for a very engaging, challenging, and intriguing set of remarks. Please join me in welcoming Mark Bertolini. Good morning. Why are you all here? You should be watching your TV about the fiscal cliff. How many people are worried about the fiscal cliff? How many people have talked to their broker in the last week? Only kidding. Um, why is this important? Well, let's talk a little bit about the impact of health care on our nation's financial health and, quite frankly, the financial health of nations around the world. Why would a connected, convenient healthcare system be important? Why mobile? Well, let's dimension the problem. Our nation has a $16 trillion debt, $155,000 per household. Think about it as carrying an extra mortgage. The first $10 trillion of debt is associated with wars and Social Security and a few other things, but the second $10 trillion worth of debt is related to health care, 75% of it. So our mission, all of our mission in this room should be, how do we impact our health care costs in such a way that we can save our nation's economy, save Europe's economy, and help the economies of Asia and the Middle East adopt a health care system that doesn't break their budget in 30 or 40 years. Our country, by estimates by the IOM from a study over a year ago, spends over $750 billion wastefully in a $2.7 trillion health care system. If we were to solve that problem with the work that we do here in this room, we could solve half of our nation's debt over the next decade. Half. If we fix just half that problem, we could do what Bowles Simpson solution proposes to do over the next decade. And if we solve just 20% of the waste in our healthcare system today, we could pay for the Affordable Care Act. So I think our mission is a noble one. It's a moral imperative to get our economies back on track and allow for those entitlement programs that we have to serve the health and safety of our populations, not only here in the United States, but around the world. So imagine finding a doctor, making an appointment, getting your test results all on your iPhone or your iPad. It's possible today. We have it at Aetna. But it's not just for Aetna. It's for everybody who downloads our app called iTriage. You can get it off of the Apple App Store, the Microsoft App Store, it's one of the most downloaded health apps. It's being used by consumers and by physicians in practice every day. 
I have had incredible experience over the last 10 years, 11 years in the healthcare system from a number of perspectives. As a professional in working in this industry, in the managed care industry, actually I've been working in it since 1984 when I helped start an HMO in Detroit, Michigan. But also as an individual, both with as a spinal cord injury survivor, I broke my neck in a bad skiing ex accident in 2004, but I also lived in a hospital room with my son for a year helping him fight cancer back in 2002. And so I've seen the healthcare system from both sides. And when I was in that hospital room with my son, I had a Harrison's internal medicine text with sticky notes, and I had a laptop computer with a subscription to PubMed. And Eric is alive today at the age of 27, the only person ever to survive T-cell gamma delta lymphoma because I was an advocate, but an informed advocate in a healthcare system that's disconnected, broken, and doesn't serve its people well. That's our opportunity, to help people and to help our nation's economy. So we have a lot to do in changing expectations, and why is that important? The carrot and the stick don't necessarily always work in the healthcare system. At Aetna, we've tried it many times. We also tried the frozen carrot. Here's your carrot. It's frozen. If you hold it, embrace it, use it, it's edible. If you give it back to me, it's a stick. And for simple, repeatable tasks, the carrot and the stick work. But for complex tasks, where the consequences are remote, you really have to make it simple. You have to make it convenient. One in three people have used their phone to look for health info that's up double from where it was two years ago and increasing every day. They're people who are caregivers. They're people who are having a medical emergency or some other health crisis that all of a sudden go to the internet to find out about their illness. But if you go out there today and you search, it's a morass. Coupled with my Harrison's internal medicine text on my laptop was a one-hour meeting with my son's doctors every morning. And they were happy to see me go when he was discharged. But I ran the management process to make sure that he survived. So if we make it convenient, and where did I come across this? I was buying a sweater for my daughter three years ago at Christmas time. And I had my droid then, and I barcode scanned a sweater she had to have at Macy's, and up popped Google Shopper, who told me who it was, and then up popped Google Maps to tell me where else I could get it and how to get there. And I brought that all back to work and said, if we can have this for a sweater at Macy's, why can't we have it for healthcare? Why shouldn't it be that easy? That's our opportunity. That's your opportunity in working with companies like ours and other companies in this space. So let me talk a little bit about how we're connecting the system. And it's in pieces. And a lot of people don't understand the, what they, appears to be a random set of acquisitions by our company. But let me tell you a little bit about a few of the companies we bought. We bought a company called Medicity. It's the largest installed health information exchange in the United States, now approaching 28.7% of the market doctors and hospitals connected together. They've developed an application called INEX, which is a grid technology for the technologists in the room that sits on top of that exchange and allows providers to download apps to their desktop through the exchange in relatively cheap prices. As a matter of fact, our first experiment was in Michigan, 280 practices in 2011. We gave away for free a referral app to five practices. And it spread among the physicians to 280 practices in 2011 because it was free and they started using it around their other technology. It is now in 9,000 practices, INEX, is available in 9,000 practices, 25,000 physicians in virtually every state in this country across all, all specialties. So now we're beginning to get the leverage on INEX. And we'll get back to 
what I think is the network effect in mobile healthcare in a moment. On the individual side, we've surveyed people, and Accenture has also surveyed people, that says, we want more from our mobile technology around healthcare. We don't want to download just a bunch of apps and then try and navigate between them. We want to track our wellness activities, have access to health information, and even get care where we need it. 71% of people want to order their prescriptions over their mobile phones. 68% want to set up office visits. And, and some even office visits over the phone. So we expect more out of mobile technology. So we will be launching mobily in March of 2013 CarePass as a mobile technology to connect all of the health apps that you use on your mobile phone. Why is that important? It will share data across all those applications. It'll have your identifying information, including your ID card, your insurance information, some of your health information, as many places you can connect it, your doctor visits, and your fitness and nutrition programs. See if the technology works. So we started on June 5th of 2012 with one app called iTriage on the CarePass platform. We then, in October, added all of these apps that are connected to it, and now we have well over 20 apps connected to the platform. Where all the data from all of these apps are connected together through CarePass and move between these applications. But the important part about that is you don't have to move your information around, you don't have to figure out which app it is, you just put it on CarePass and it connects. But more importantly, when you need it, when you're in an emergency, you can pull up the information you need from multiple applications into one place to share with your care provider. And if they're connected with Medicity, you can share it through the Health Information Exchange. So this is available today on a laptop or on a, on a, a PC, um, but you'll have it mobily available and downloadable by March of 2013, I am assured, as of 45 minutes ago. Right, Martha? I always check these things before I get on stage. You never know. Now, how do we make this happen? Well, this CarePass platform We've been using codathons and hackathons among all of our assets, but also we've been pulling developers together to pull all this together into a personalized guidance. And you can see here on the right CarePass using all of this information from the apps on this prior slide. So it works well together, and it's all about you. So instead of you trying to find out how to use that, make the healthcare system work, the healthcare system works for you. Why? because we make it simple, we make it convenient, and therefore we get you engaged. Because we can't get at that $750 billion that we waste every year in the healthcare system unless we get at this issue, unless we get people engaged. Moving away from the carrot and stick and moving toward making it so simple, it's like getting out of bed in the morning. Now, what we want to create is a network effect. Why is that important? Because we want to drive more use on both the provider side and on the consumer side. So at the same time on June 5th, 2012, and the reason we're now at 20 apps from one is we unleashed a developer portal that has partner and data services and challenges and codathons that allow people to build technology that links with our platform. And in essence, what we've done is given the software development, get the SDK and all the APIs away to the public for free. This is not an Aetna proprietary platform. This is for everybody. Why? Because for every 50 basis points we change healthcare cost trend in this country, we save $130 billion. Noble cause, why not? It'll make our economy healthier. Also coming in two weeks, 
again, I'm assured as of 45 minutes ago. In two weeks, we've developed a new fitness app with Microsoft's help called Passage. And again, this makes it more interesting and easy to use. And so instead of staring at a book while you're going up and down on your elliptical walker or your stair climber, or at some TV show that you can't hear because your earphones don't work in the gym, what we have is an opportunity to transform your fitness into a journey wherever you'd like to go. And so what this allows you to do is to pick the places you want to see, and through fitness allows you to see those places on your phone or on your PC through the CarePass platform. And this just happens to be Barcelona. It was a place I was recently at, and it's a pretty place, and so this happens to be... Uh, I can't exactly tell where that is, but um, that's in Barcelona, and it's part of a fitness app. So what it really does is engages the consumer in thinking about places they want to go, sets goals, and allows them to make the journey personalized, convenient, bringing the world to them. Now, why is this important? And you'll notice I'm back in a couple of slides ago that we had a lot of fitness and nutrition apps. At Aetna, everywhere we have members around the world, 34% of the people we cover drive 70% of our health care costs. 5% drive 50. And of the 34% that have a chronic disease, more than half have a chronic disease related to their body weight. It's the obesity pandemic. And I have a whole other talk I could put, do for you, but I'd rather do it after lunch. It's called Put the Cookie Down. But it's about this pandemic we have coming in the United States where we just recently spent billions of dollars inoculating everyone to reduce the potential of 10,000 deaths from the swine flu when we have this many people a week passing away from obesity. So this is our challenge as a nation at getting at those underlying health care costs. The non-waste, or some of the waste, but a lot of the non-waste, is by dealing with obesity. So we very much focused on fitness and on nutrition as part of our application development. So connecting all this today creates the network effect. We get more consumers. We get more apps. We get more apps. We get more consumers. We get more doctors. And what we would like to be able to create is the largest network connected for health care so that we can begin to push this issue of reducing our nation's health care costs and reducing the waste. So iTriage is one of our IT assets that we bought a few years ago. It has blossomed into this CarePass platform where all this technology is coming together. And when connected to Medicity, we can connect patients and doctors in a convenient simple way, and we can make health care work for them versus them having to work to figure out how to work in the health care system. So we did a hackathon, and I'm not going to do the demo for you today. I did this at Health 2.0 a couple of months ago. Um, but what we have done now with iTriage is we now allow you to go in and check a symptom. So for me, since I'm a kidney donor, low back pain is always a worry. I could check that symptom. It will know I'm part of the Banner Health Network, which is the logo in the upper right-hand corner of that page on the, on the, on the left-hand side, the first, uh, the first icon. And it will allow me then to find a doctor who can help me deal with my back pain, particularly if I'm worried about a UTI, for example. And it will find the doctors for me that are in network that can handle that illness. It'll show me the doctors that are out of network. And it'll show me doctors that are to my preferences as a member of iTriage. Think of it as eHarmony for finding doctors. Why not? It should be a good relationship, right, if it's going to work. So what ends up happening is then it shows me my doctor, and then it'll bring to me that doctor's appointment availability in the near term if I want to make an appointment. It will allow me to schedule the appointment and set reminders up in my calendar 
and connect information from CarePass into that to send to my physician. I go have my visit. My doctor talks to me, says I'm going to do a urine, I'm going to do a urinalysis, and I'm going to give you a prescription if you have a urinary tract infection. But how does that happen? Well, what the CarePass platform and iTriage now allows us to do is that the doctor, after the visit, can send me a note on what the findings were of the urinalysis, the lab test results, and say to me, I, I have, based on your preferences, sent a prescription, an antibiotic to your physician, to your pharmacy near you that you use as a preference on your, on your platform. This will be available in March as well, of the first quarter, for our Banner Health Network launch of their Accountable Care Organization. So this technology platform knits together doctors and hospitals, knits together consumers and health systems, all through a mobile phone. And the importance of that is, is as we transform our healthcare system, it's going to be about that relationship and the convenience of it that's going to make a difference for most of us. The managed care and insurance industry for years has worked very well with very sick patients and trying to get them to the right place. But that's a small portion of our population. The next step is how do we engage the masses in a way to allow them to have a simple and convenient relationship with the healthcare system. And I would posit for all of you that convenience is the new word for quality for that population. Some of our other launches that we will connect to all of this over the next year is that we've developed a clinical capacity exchange where we'll be able to buy excess availability in the healthcare system on a daily basis for lab tests, x-rays, flu shots, doctor visits, and resell them to consumers who are on their way home or on the way to pick up kids and want to stop and get a flu shot, a lab test, an x-ray, or an office visit. So we'll create real convenience for people to be able to buy those services. And for us, as the insurance organization, we will become more valuable. Because to date, insurance companies are only valuable when we don't screw up. We never get phone calls that say, my doctor wanted me to call and tell you that he got paid in seven days versus 30, thank you. Or, oh my God, you people are incredible, you answered the call on the first ring. Doesn't happen. So to become valuable, we have to matter. And by mattering, over time, we'll put the traditional insurance mechanism out of business. Don't, wait, wait, wait. Don't get too, we're not going to single payer. Let me make that clear for all the news people in the room. Uh, what we're talking about doing is making the, health, the, the insurance vehicles of today facilitative of connecting the patient and the doctor and getting out of the way. Why? Because we tried in the 1970s and the early, the late 70s and the early 80s to use black belt managed care to control costs. We used the HMOs. And then we tried to buy physician practices in the 80s and the 90s and try to control them by owning them. And then in the 2000, early 2000s, we said, well, you know what, we'll just make it so burdensome for the consumer by making them pay out of pocket that they'll pay attention. None of it has worked. When you look at over healthcare, overall health care costs, they continue to go up. The only way to make it work is to facilitate the relationship between patients and doctors, to get out of their way, to give them the cover from a risk standpoint of reinsurance, and let the system really work. And so this platform is the beginning of an evolution to change the way that doctors and patients relate, change the way health care systems work, all like getting at that $750 billion that is breaking the bank here. Similar numbers from a size standpoint of their total budget in Europe. And that scares the heck out of people in the Middle East and Asia as they try and build a social safety net for the middle classes that are emerging in those countries. So I thank you for your time and attention. I'll turn it back over to Steve.